Hey everyone, from the top 10 funniest videos last week, coming in 10th place was Convo with a 4 year old. Excuse me, new classmate. Do you have any water? I'm bone dry. I do not. For I. I'm a juice drinker. Alright, alright, alright. Texas Top. You can call me Bud. Well, I'm Texas McConaughey. You can call me. McConaughey. Your daddy golf? Of course my daddy golf. So's my daddy. This is Landon Ashworth Comedy. But my daddy could beat your daddy. My daddy is the greatest golfer on the planet. He could beat your daddy, or Charlie Wood's daddy, or any daddy on the planet. And if you ever mention daddy's golf game again, we will engage in combat. All right, all right. You ride horse? Of course I ride horse. I go pull some girl's hair? Well, I had just assumed you'd forgotten how to ask, McConaughey. Let's pull. Coming in ninth place was, give these people some peanuts. Fear Airlines was some bullshit. Who flew that shit? They got me one time. Think all the other flights were like $400. This shit said 28. I was like, 28? <laughs> I don't give a fuck if I gotta lay on the floor. Get 28? That shit was $400 by the time I got off that flight. This is Nate Jackson. I couldn't even pee. They were like, you need to buy a token. <laughs> <laughs> Empty your pockets. I'm like, for security? They're like, no, $10 to get all your shit back. I'm like, what the fuck? I just gave you that shit, $10. <laughs> if you pass out, it's cool. I'm a nurse. Coming in eighth place was True Detective in 2024 be like, so What do we got? We have three victims. All three were burned alive with a blowtorch by the killer. As you can see right here. I know, right? What kind of sick son of a bitch burns people alive? No, why are these two men outlined Eiffel Towering this woman? Well, see, what had happened was is when the killer burned them alive, these two men were Eiffel Towering this young woman here. Right, yeah, no, I could see that. And why is this one in brown? Well, because that victim's African-American, hence the large yeah. size. This is Matt and Justice. Yeah, no, I could see the large size, but do you really think any of this is necessary? It's protocol detective, I gotta make sure the outlines are exact. No, Lieutenant doesn't have to be exact, okay? All of these outlines are completely unnecessary, you see? Perverts! Lieutenant, we found the killer thanks to your precise chalk outlines. We compared the black size to the victim's brother and we found a match. Way to fall protocol. Good work. Good job, Lieutenant. Coming in seventh place was police dispatchers ask too many questions. 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, I need the police. Somebody's broke in my house. Uh oh, what's the address? My address is 397 Tennessee Lane. Alright, you're being robbed, and what's the weather like over there? What what is what does it have to do with you sending the police? Just answer the question, please. It's snowing? Alright, I got that down. And what's the race of the perpetrator? Can you tell me that, please? I don't know. This is Sylvanas. I don't know, man. Listen, I understand that you're terrified right now and you're trying to keep your talking to a minimum, but I need to know the race of the perpetrator if you can, because that'll be very helpful for who I send over. So, what's his race? Black. Coming in sixth place was, if cheating on your girlfriend was a sport. No, I don't have a girlfriend. What you talking about? Then who's on your screensaver? My screensaver? Uh, uh, oh, shit. Uh, no, go what happened? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, blue, come on, blue. Don't answer that. Back to your bitch. Back to your bitch. New game plan. Lock it. New game plan. Go over there and tell her that the girl on your phone screen is your late sister that passed away in a car accident. Coach, that's doing too much. Do you want to win or not? Because this is the only way that girl was going to let you f Okay, I'll do it. This is Suburb, baby. Go over there and let her know that that is your sister that passed away in a car accident. Hands in. She is the lead on three. One, two, three. Come on! Shit! Play ball! The girl on my phone screen is my sister that just passed away. Yo. Oh, I'm so sorry. Come here. Come cuddle. <laughs> okay. Yes, son! Yes! Finish! Finish! Coming in fifth place was Husband's Shocking Wish Backfires. A married couple in their early 60s was celebrating their 35th wedding anniversary in a quiet, romantic little restaurant. Suddenly, a tiny yet beautiful fairy appeared on their table saying, For being such an exemplary married couple, I will grant you each a wish. 
Oh, I want to travel around the world with my darling husband, says the wife. The fairy waved her magic wand and poof! Two tickets for the Queen Mary II appeared in her hands. This is Mike and Joelle. The husband thought for a moment. Well, this is all very romantic, but an opportunity like this will never come again. I'm sorry, my love, but my wish is to have a wife 30 years younger than me. The wife and the fairy were deeply disappointed, but a wish is a wish. So the fairy waved her magic wand and poof, the husband became 92 years old. The moral of this story, men who are ungrateful bastards should remember fairies are female. Coming in fourth place was, come get your dog. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I ain't trying to judge nobody's pet parenting skills and nothing like that, but um, hey man, this dog needs some home training. This dog needs, some, I mean, damn. You understand? This dog is for the streets. This dog needs some etiquette classes. Like, why? As You know what I mean? Usually, you know what I'm saying, people have dogs. You'd be like, hey, man, your dog don't bite, do it. No, not with this one. This is Schuler King. You got to worry about the dog, you know what I'm saying, trying to trying to get up on you. Like, hey, bro, like, why you? Bro, get, come get your dog. Like, put the dog in the other room. Why the, the dog, you know what I'm saying, make an offer? What, what, what is this? I'm trying to eat. We trying to enjoy the game. What, what is your dog doing? What you do in front of the dog? Your dog need the OnlyFans or something. This, this, this. Coming in third place was self-repossessing car ruins date night. After a series of missed payments, Ford's proposal will force the car to drive itself to a <laughs> repossession agency. Look, it's just, it's just so embarrassing, man. This is what happened to me. I'm, I'm on an exquisite first date. First date. And we having some fun. I'm talking about we got on the dance floor and came back to my bedroom and we danced some old. And hey, look, I ain't, I ain't never had no threesome before, but I'm pretty sure it was me, her, and a roach in that bed. This is the real spark. But now it's time for her to go home anyway. So she uh get in the back seat to go to sleep because I put in a good two, three minutes so I know she tired. And uh halfway to this woman's house, the car take a wrong turn on purpose i said hold up wait a minute something ain't right if the car can do all that on his own it might as well pay his own bill coming in second place was how different guys act when they're sick i don't need to go to the doctor they're just going to tell me what i already know I already went to the doctor google i beat lung cancer last week which you guys did not seem to appreciate uh but now i have ovarian cancer somehow oh my god honey can you hand me my phone Oh, I got COVID. Uh, I was actually super symptomatic, but didn't miss a day of work. This is Gene Short's comedy. Well, you for sure should have stayed home. What do you mean you went? Not me, man. I'm not weak. You may take sick days, but I don't need them. Oh, gosh. My head's throbbing. It says to take two, but six it is. If you take three times as much, it's going to get better three times as quick. You're going to say bless you? Come on, dude. I'm going to say goodbye to you. Get out of the house. Oh, my God. This is no, my you're... house. Oh, you... <laughs> and coming in first place last week was medicine commercials be like Do you know anyone that struggles with erectile dysfunction? Well look no further. Try I'm trying to fuck some. I'm trying to fuck some is an erectile dysfunction medication used to increase sexual desire. Side effects may include nausea and vomiting, your dick falling off, loss of vision, loss of smell, loss of taste, loss of touch, loss of hearing, loss of car keys, loss of appetite. You may even lose your life. This is Action Jackson. Check with your physician to make sure this is the correct medication for you. I'm trying to fuck something that's not responsible for any deaths caused by the manufacturer. Please read labels correctly. If you are ages 50 and over, please use responsibly and take with water only. Using any other substance or liquid to take this medication can cause serious and fatal consequences. This medication may also cause you to randomly shit on yourself, especially in public areas. Hope you enjoyed that everyone. Links to the creator's full videos are located below.